It's Jen and we're in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at Classy Contemporary. We're here to see a solo show by artist Jordan Eagles who creates this work out of blood. Let's go look. Tonight is the kickoff for um, the Williamsburg Second Fridays. And for us, it means the opening of our first show of the fall season, which is a fabulous show called Hemoglyphs by Jordan Eagles. I actually saw Jordan's work when one of my other artists was curated into a show at Ogilvy, um, who does shows in their advertising headquarters here in New York. Jordan was also curated, in, and I fell in love with it. And tell us a little bit about Jordan's work. Jordan's work is interesting. It's very conversation starting, shall we say, because he works with animal blood, which he garnishes from the slaughterhouses in the area. Um, that blood is combined with resin, acrylic, and sometimes copper or gauze to create these very painterly but bold abstract works. for all of the rest of the work in the show. I love it for a number of reasons, but firstly, it's huge, it's massive. It's made out of nine panels. Each panel is eight feet tall and it's 32 feet wide total. And each panel is constructed of plexiglass with blood and resin. It's leaned up against the wall as opposed to hung on the wall, which creates extra depth on top of the piece that already has a lot of great depth and layering and because it's leaning and creating that extra depth it's actually playing with the light in the room and reflecting the light in the room onto the wall which creates an additional effect which is really striking and amazing. This work is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking and has a really big impact. Jordan, can you tell us a little bit about your work? My work is about uh, regeneration is taking animal blood and uh, creating new life with it. So taking the life force of something no longer living and showing the life life process and the space between life and death. What inspires your particular imagery? Part of it was just an experimental process with yeah. the material. In a piece like this, this is uh, called Blood Dust 1-2. This is me using um, decomposed blood that has been aged for up to three years. So what happens is the blood becomes essentially like rocks that can then be ground up and then sprinkled into the into the wet resin. Um, so it's more about process and how to make the, the process the purpose with this exhibition than a piece such as Bar 1 through 9, which is the 32 foot long sculptural mural. That piece was about finding sort of the different elemental qualities in the blood and treating each panel differently with heating techniques. So, Jordan, what would you want someone viewing your work to take away from it? I like it when people come to a show and bring their own feelings to the work. Um, everyone has an association to blood because it's something that runs through our bodies that you're instinctually are you going to feel something about, even if you just say the word blood, you already have ideas of what that means to you. So I like that when people have these preconceived notions, they can come to the show and be taken to somewhere else they might not have thought that they were going to see, or it reaffirms their own beliefs. Thanks so much for joining us and exploring this beautiful, striking show with this intriguing medium, and we look forward to seeing you next time.